this idea think about your idea in the sense of what is it in this world right now that people need what is the pain that i'm curing what is like what is it that i am bringing value onto that's how you figure out your business like that's how you figure out what is the business that you want to create because like if you're not solving a problem you're not doing nothing hi beautiful people so my name is gifty parker and i am the gift to your hair in this video i'm going to be helping you start your business and just give you some tips and tricks on how you can maneuver your very first business successfully just to give you some backstory i am an entrepreneur i have been in business for at least three years now i sell bundles and i make custom wigs and i do services as well so with starting my own business at the age of 16 i was able to successfully run a business for four years on average i make five to six thousand a month um so this is why i feel like i am in a right position to help you out so if you do have any other questions that you want to know more about you can always um email me you can always leave a comment on this video i want to start a series on my channel about entrepreneurship because it's very important to me i believe that if you have a vision you need to show the world so if i'm able to inspire anybody and help them create their business and create their vision and make it into a reality that is my main goal so i am so thankful that you found my channel now let's begin so the very first thing that i would say to start your business is plan 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 i like don't rush do not rush that's the thing don't rush into anything really plan out what you want to do so when i say plan i want you to take time get a piece of paper get a piece of paper get a pencil and write down your ideas just jot down what are you thinking let's say you want to create a smoothie company write down research what kind of smoothie is smoothies are really popular right now what's let's say you want to create a um lash company research what is the best kind of lashes where do i find the where do i find lashes at why are why are lashes so important get to the get to the part of this product that i'm selling why is it that another person is willing to buy it from me if you can answer that question right there the product that i am selling what is making the next person or my customer buy from me if you can answer that question right there you can be a millionaire period if you know what is making what is driving your customers to buy from you that is the most important thing because you're able to make your marketing your advertising your everything to target that client that customer or that client so that's why i want you to plan so you know these information before you get into your business before you launch your business you want to have the background information so plan that's the very first thing is to write a plan about your product what do you want to sell who is it that you're going to sell to and how are you going to sell this product so get a piece of paper plan it out the product that you want to sell who are you selling to and how are you going to sell this product three things for part one which is your plan the product that you're going to sell who are you selling to and how are you going to sell that i want you to plan that out that's the first one the next thing number two which goes to plan but it's a different section research research not just about your product but do business research business research is very important so like how do i target market how do i target my specific customer or client i want you guys to know this off the bat not everybody you're not selling to everybody just because a whole bunch of people is gonna like be watching you on social media watch yourself on snapchat all those people who are watching you are not your clients they are not your client because some of those people cannot afford your service you cannot sell to a person who can't afford your service that's like talking to a deaf dog that doesn't happen right so if you do the research part if you learn business understanding business as a whole that is going to help you a lot so when i say research i want you to take your time and just go online search up how do i start a lash company what are the what is the most popular lash brand all these other stuff planning and researching really goes to hand plan what you want to do then research the questions that you have with the plans that came about those are my first two things plan research plan research 
please do that because you don't want to start and then fail. You don't want to start and then not have a next destination. You don't want to start and then not have somewhere else to go next. Those are the first two things. Let's go to the next one. Number three, vendor. A vendor is the person that's going to be giving you the products so that you can sell. And yeah, basically the vendor is going to be the person who's giving you the products for you to sell. Places that you can find vendor is Google. Google, this is the specific thing that I want you to Google. Wholesale vendor lashes. Wholesale vendor t-shirts. Wholesale vendor hair. Wholesale vendor body scrub. Whatever you're selling, put wholesale vendor that item. You, um, Google is going to drop a whole bunch of vendors there for you. They're going to give you places like Alibaba is going to pop up um dh gate is gonna pop up um what's another place um whatsapp is gonna pop up so these are these are places that you can find vendors and you can contact them so once you find a vendor you want to email or you want to message them you want to message them in a way of hi i am this person and i'm interested in um reselling your products or I'm interested in um, purchasing your product as a wholesale price can you please let me know the price for one quantity you want to know how much one quantity is because once you figure out how much one one of the product costs you then you can see how much products you want to get right so they're gonna be like oh it's 23 cents for one item then you times that by the number of items that you're gonna be getting to get your total price off and with vendor, with you finding your vendor, I want, I really want you to shop. Don't pick one vendor and, oh, this is my vendor. No, shop around. Inbox up to 20 vendors. Inbox different vendors. Figure out their prices. I want you to check price with the two vendors. Figure out which one is, which one is cheaper, which one the shipping time is shorter, which one can you trust. You need to be able to trust your vendor and have your vendor trust you as well. You guys, you guys have to create a kind of relationship because if you're going to pick one vendor, you're going to be working with this person for a very long time. And you don't want to start working with somebody, give them your logo, give them all these things and create this like business relationship. And then all of a sudden you can't work with them anymore. You have to recreate that with somebody else. So that's why I want you to shop around and not just make your decision off the first person you meet. Also with shopping around, you need to get samples don't just purchase all these like items in bulk. because what if the the item comes to you and then something's wrong or something you don't like something then you you not spend all the money you will, you're not gonna spend all your money at this point so don't do that don't have these ven these vendors these vendors are gonna try you they're gonna try you you need to get your samples don't don't let them talk talk game to you don't let them run game on you because they're gonna they're not they're not gonna bring up sample they're just gonna oh here's how much one piece costs here is how much how much would you need da, 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 da. all this other stuff they all they want is for you to give them their money all they want is for you to give them your money no you need to be more smarter about the way you go so you need to ask the specific question how long is it going to take for this product to come how much is one piece um what is your return policy um do you do what is it called design logo design can you add my logo onto this product how much is that going to be i want you to really pick their brain not just oh you sell my product good that's it. No, no, no. Pick their brain. Another thing, negotiation. You can negotiate these prices. If they're telling you, no, this is my price, they're not trying to bargain with you, go to the next person. Do not feel like you have to be, be with a vendor that you cannot afford. Shop around. Negotiate the price. Um, oh, it's $35 for one. Um, that is a little bit above my um, budget and I wasn't really planning on spending this much. Is there something we can do to work around it? If it tell you, oh no, that's our price, da 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 da. Oh, but did you know that Tan um, is selling the same product for at least less? Um, I don't think you want me to leave you as a customer for Tan. Then you know, just really like, like talk, talk run game with them, run game basically like, Da, 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 da. oh yeah did you know that did you know this um what if i took this out 
unless you have the money to pay i mean running game is only if you want to bargain the price and neg negotiate the price if you find the price is fair if everything is fine by you you do not have to neg negotiate anything you just get your vendor you pay for the item have them send it to you and then boom we can move on then but if you if you're seeing that one vendor is charging like thirty dollars different than the next person for the same product, then you can negotiate and talk about the other. Oh yeah, this is why this person is selling this. Why are you doing this? Da 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 da. That's when you can negotiate. But if the price is reasonable to you, don't do that. Don't kind of waste the people's time. No. Next thing is your your brand name needs to be something unique and simple at the same time. Please don't kind of be confusing people. Like for example, Ford mcdonald's walgreens walmart um what's another one what's another brand um um michael kors keep it simple to the point don't be doing too much for like i mean because one, if the person you're selling to cannot understand your logo, your brand name off the bat as they read it, that's a problem. So making your brand name so complicated, like, I, I don't even know. I honestly don't even know. I can't even give you guys an example. Just don't make your brand name complicated. Like, TT So Bomb, Titus, what? Um, Big Bang, Take Little Bang. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't figure I I couldn't think about a bad name, but just don't make your name too long. Don't make your name too long, don't make your name too complicated. Make it simple and also try to have your name match with the industry that you're doing if you can. If you can't, it's not a big deal. For me, I do hair and I'm in the beauty industry. So my name is Gifty, the gift to your hair. It just blends together. So when they see my logo, oh okay, I see there's an image of a girl flying hair. Gifty, that's a unique name in it at the like the bottom has the tagline, the gift to your hair. Boom, gift hair. There is no way you wouldn't know that I sell hair. There is no way. So if you are able to have those characters in your brand name or have those like features or characters in your brand name and to be able to tell your story while they like, if, if a person is able to know your story, know what you're selling with just with your brand name, you got it. That is a good name. If you cannot do that, that is fine, but make it easy to read simple and straight to the point straight to the point do not be extra and then on top of that is the purpose your brand and your purpose you need to figure that one out too what is the purpose of this company why are you making this company what is your goal with this company these questions you need to ask yourself these questions you need to know your purpose because things are going to hit you so hard. Things are going to hit you so hard and you're going to feel like giving up. That purpose is what is going to keep you standing. That purpose is what is going to keep you motivated. Because you knowing, okay, I have this vision in, in, my, in my mind. I want to create an empire to give back to my, uh, to give back to my legacy. If that is your your purpose right there if anything bad happens in your life you're not going to be easily shaken no you're going to look at what you're going to look at the situation evaluate the situation and remember my purpose is this i need to accomplish this goal and this purpose in life so this situation that's happening right now is temporary what i have to do is to figure out the solution and then continue going because the purpose i have for myself is so much bigger than any obstacle that is coming into my way that's why you need your purpose because when bad things happen you need to have a reminder of why you're doing this business good fifth thing fifth 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 thing is to create your logo create your logo start getting creative create your and you can use canva you can use pic collage you can use taylor brand there are so many um, apps and stuff like that you can use to make your logo. Um, unless you're not a creative person at all, then you can pay somebody to make your logo for you. Really easy. So after you make your logo, number six is set a budget. One thing is you don't want to go broke while in the process of creating your business. You don't want to. Um, so there's two things. I will highly recommend if you currently have a nine to five job, if you currently have a job, 
do not quit your job just because you're starting your business you need some kind of income coming in to help your business flourish right so if you can keep your nine to five job save your money on the side and use that for your business and then whatever money your business bring flip it one more time to make more money that is really really smart compared to you quitting your job getting into your business going broke and then stopping all over but if you do not want to work a nine to five job and you want to fully do your business, that is good as well. Budgeting your money is highly important because you don't have a lot to work with. So don't go cool getting all the expensive stuff, all the glitter, all the extra stuff. No, work with what you have. Please work with what you have. If you have a house, if you have a home and a space in the basement that you're not using, make that your studio. Use a white wallpaper. Take pictures that way. Don't do too much if you do not have the means to. So you need to budget. You need to look at your current finance right now. How much am I, how much am I making a month? How much am I willing to spend towards my business? What are, what are the most important things that I need currently? Like I need now. You don't need two, three weeks, five months from now. What is something that you need right now? Budget your money smart. Separate the most important thing to the least important thing. If you also have your day-to-day -day life to do, right? Keep things separate. Keep your business and your everyday life separate. Keep your finances separate. Do not mix those two together, right? With budgeting, I would say if I for if you if you make an average a thousand dollars a month, save at least twenty-five dollars a week into your business. That's all. If you make a thousand dollars a month, at least put um, $25 a week to the side. That's something very small, but you just continue growing that money, growing that money, growing that money until you can, until you have a, enough for you to start moving your business, start making your business shake, you know, shake the business up with that money. Next thing is number seven is make your website. Making your website is super fun. <laughs> I am a um, web designer actually, so I'm, I'm almost in the process of finishing my course and getting like my certificate in web designing. So that is something that I am very excited for. But web designing is math fun. You can use Shopify, you can use Wix, you can use, um, what's the other one? Shopify, Wix, GoDaddy. Um, there are a lot of websites that you can create your website on. Like, you know, website builders, um, making your own website is extremely easy. Like I said, you just need to get the template, add your products into it, um, market it, and da, 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 da. You got your website. Making your website is important because your Instagram, your, your social media is not a website. You need a place to host all your content. You need a place that other business people, in, investors, other people that might be looking at your business and thinking i like this girl i like this guy i like what they're doing i might be interested in you know helping out investing stuff like that you need a space for them to see all your content and see that you're professional having a website just makes you like take your business from a hobby to oof i am serious i'm here because i need you to know that i am here for real this is my work this is my content this is this is my pride and joy this is what i am doing this is something serious to me so take the time and create and create your website it doesn't have to be something crazy glamorous none of that have a website make it clean and professional all right tip number eight Business cards and thank you notes. It it comes to my notice that a lot of people don't believe in business cards anymore or don't think business cards is important for your business or don't want to get business cards and just they they have the mindset of, oh, I can just use my phone and have them add me on social media. You lick list? You Chris? <laughs> business card is highly important. Do not be that person without a business card. Don't be that business person without a business card, please. You can always get business cards on Vistaprint or you can make your own business cards. Um, making a business card is really, really easy. All you need is the template and the paper and then you can just print off your um, logo design onto the um, printing paper and then you're good to go. You have your business card. Or you can use Vistaprint and make your business card all that as well. But business cards will look like this. This is my business card. Give you the gift to your hair. The front would be just your logo, something very simple. Then the back would be your logo again and your contact information. I have my contact 
contact to get the transformation of a lifetime. I have my Facebook, my Snapchat, my call, and then my location on the back. Another thing that um, I have on my card that really stands out compared to any other card, I have a QR code on my card right here. So what I realized is that if you go to events, you go to social events and stuff like that, and you hand a person your card, right? The likelihood of this of that person taking that card and actually looking at it is so low. <laughs> it's so low. It's really, really low. So you have at least three minutes to make a very high impression on the person that you're talking to. So what you have to do, so what I do, um, I would take my business card with me everywhere. And I will walk up to the person, hey, how are you doing today? Um, I love your shirt or I love your hair. Oh, do you mind if I touch it? I touch the hair. Well, I'm, I'm speaking from the point of view of a hairstylist because that's what I do. Touching the person's hair breaks that um, barrier. They feel more comfortable with you off the bat. So I'm just breaking the barrier. I touch the hair. Oh my God, I love this. You know, butter them up. People love compliments. You must butter them up while you're talking. I love your hair, girl. You're so pretty. Oh my God. Let me tell you about something. So I am a hairstylist actually, and I would love you to come in for a free consultation so I can see what you need for your hair. Boom, you have them locked in. Now, oh, do you have your phone on you? Yes, I do. Pull out your phone. Let me show you something cool. All they have to do is to scan, take their iPhone or take any kind of phone, take their camera, scan this code. It pops up my social media. It pops up my Instagram. They can instantly add my Instagram right there. I got a new customer. I got a new follow. On top of that, I can always contact them. So even if they lose this card, I already got you. Boom. That's why a business card is important. If you do not have the feature to add a QR code, that is fine. Having your regular business card is good, but make sure they have you added on some kind of social media before you walk away. That could be your Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. Make sure they have you on some kind of social media before you walk away with this card, with, before you walk away with them having your card because the likelihood of your card being thrown on the ground, being pushed into their back pocket, never looking at it again, is very high. We want to reduce that. Good. So thank you notes. Thank you notes are really good as well. It's just a way that you can retain your customers by sending thank you notes. But you can either do it electronically or you can send it paper copy. I prefer electronically because they will not lose their code. Um, they will remember it. And you can always send reminders as well. So thank you notes are important. Number nine, marketing and social media. You need to be your own brand ambassadors. You need to be the face of your brand. Unless you want another person to be the face of your brand, that is fine. But if you're gonna have another person or a model or a brand ambassador to be the face of your brand, I feel like that's another topic I have to talk about in detail. You need to pick these people wisely because not everybody is for your brand. That's all I have to say about that one. But with social media, you gotta be there every day. Show up. Be that annoying person. Hey, I'm back, y'all, every day. Hi, beautiful people. How you doing? It's your girl Gifty. Every single day. They need to hear, they need to hear you, they need to see you. They need to like you. Not everybody's gonna like you, but if you show your personality, if you show them that, hey, I'm a brand that I'm gonna be here for you, I'm going to show you why my product is good, I'm going to educate you on why my product is the best for you, and I'm always gonna be reliable for you because I'm gonna show up. Showing up is posting. Posting, if you can't post three times a day, amazing if you're on instagram and you can post three times a day three times a day amazing if you can post at least one time a day on instagram even better but do not go one week post don't post the whole week another week don't post a whole week don't do that at least do at least get two if you want to post at least two times a week that's fine but post the best thing you can do is post three times a day because with with social media other people are posting as well your post might be under a whole bunch of other posts and your clients or your customers might not see that so if you post often it's like they will have to see it they would have to see it you're always showing up on top of other people posts so that's why you want to post as often as you can because you don't want your post to just get 
hover over with all the other content that's being uploaded to your social media. If you have a Snapchat, be there, do little vlogs, show them, hey, this is how my product first started. This is how it is now. Talk to the talk to your audience. Get to know your audience. Get your audience to know you. You need to build a relationship with the people you want to sell to. Show them why is this company the company I want to spend my money with. You need to know where your clients is, where your target market is. Is it on Snapchat? Is it on Instagram? Is it on LinkedIn? LinkedIn? Is it on Facebook? Are they on Twitter? Where are they? Where is your target audience at? Because you could be on, you could be spending all your time on Snapchat, posting da 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 da, but your clients aren't even there. They're not getting your message and you're not selling no items. You're not selling nothing. So where is your clients at? Where do you need to reposition yourself to show up so that the people that you wanna attract needs to see you? We're going to talk about the financial part of the business, which is getting your business registered and then um, getting your business checking account and your business savings account. Because again, you're going to keep everything separate. You're not going to have your personal and business mixed together. No, you're going to get a business checking account, a business savings account. You're going to get your business registered with your state and those two component right there are going to be very important for your business. But I'm not going to talk into detail about those two because th that is very big. And I want to take time and really go into depth about the financial aspect of starting your business. So that's going to be another video. But in this video, we went over the foundation of starting your business. So to run over everything we just talked about is the number one thing is to plan. Number two is to research. You have to have a plan. Without a plan, you're going to fail. That's how I feel about it. Have a plan. Have something that you're doing. Understand your product. Understand your market. Research. Do the research on your client, your product, and your market. So after that, we have our vendor. Get your vendor. Make sure you get samples from your vendor. Number five is make your logo. You can use Canva. You can use PicMonkey, other apps to make your logo. Number six is budget. Make a budget. Number seven would be make your website. Number eight, create your business card and a thank you note. Number nine, market and social media. These are my 11 tips um, for you to start your business, just like a foundation for you to start your business. Uh, my name is Gifty. Gifty, the gift to your hair. Um, you can find me on all social medias. I'm just kidding. No, you can find me on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook. Um, all my information will be down in the description. All my information will be down in the description box. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I will be dropping more videos. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.